what is up guys welcome back to the channel today we're right back on ITR project uh, a little dusty right now but it's all good uh, John Miguel is gonna get the wheels off get the coilover adjusted and then right after that we'll do a four wheel alignment so stay tuned those bad boys right there fresh from King Motorsports it's one part about this I really love it's these uh, project kicks lug nuts they um these are the I R 40 conicals and the cool thing about these is they have a two-piece design where that contact surface where it actually touches the wheel moves independent of the lug nut itself. So the good thing is, is when you go to tighten the wheel, it doesn't damage the inner part where it actually touches. On an iodized wheel like this, anodized wheel like this, it doesn't really, it's not that big of a deal, but on a powder coated wheel where that surface is kind of soft, it will stop it from ripping the paint off of it. And the other thing too is you get a real good torque because you don't have the interference of the wheel on there so really good lug nut we get those from velocity shop they have a whole selection of them short long different colors definitely hit up velocity shop for these you know what i do know this what's this over here this one is one of their newer ones and they have a plug in here and what this does is it keeps the water out from rusting inside because every open end lug nut you're going to get some rust you got steel studs low water gets on there when you wash it these caps they help fix that problem of covering it and protecting the inner part of the lug and the stud
All right, guys, we got the car on the alignment rack. Uh, Don about to lift it up, put a target on, and get the alignment done. If you guys want to find out why we put tape on the wheels, John can answer that question. Well, you know, try not to be a butcher and kill these beautiful brand new MF10s, so their iodized finish can be a little risky putting the heads on because the heads are metal. So I, I like to put a couple layers of tape on here just for insurance because, you know, tape is cheaper than a new set of wheels. So. Miguel, hit it. All right, so we're gonna get the heads mounted on the wheels. We're gonna set up the application, dial it in, see where everything is, make the proper adjustment, put this car on its proper uh, track. All right, so our first step, we come here and we gotta select the car. So it's pretty simple. If you can't figure this out, you probably can't program a VCR. What's a VCR? I don't know. So we got Acura. That's what it means, though. Well, you know, I mean, most people don't know what VCR is. <laughs> we go to uh, 94 to 2001 and this is definitely a type R so you know put it in race car mode here this gives us all the preset specs and what the car is going to align to this is what it tells you it's in or out of spec so that's what's set up in the computer once we mount our sensors and set everything up then we'll move on to the next step Here we have the um, camber up here, and uh, the toe is here, which they're 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 pretty close. You know, so this toe tells me the steering wheel is probably off to the left. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but um, so the yeah. good thing is the caster's in spec. Yeah, the, that good. looks good. We have the toe. The, the cambers are pretty close here, and we don't we're not running a camber kit. Exactly. So that's not super horrible. Yeah, I put a couple shims on this yeah. one in order yeah. to get it there. And this we can. Uh, we can adjust that. We can that do right that with the adjustment and get it, get it pretty good. A few turns, we'll have this thing done. Yeah. All right. So now is the time where we're going to adjust it. So to do the front toe on here, you need a 19 and a 14. If everything's still original, which everything on here, when we rebuilt the rack, we have all the original bolts and hardware. So I know for sure my snap-on wrench is going to work perfect. So first thing you got to do is break the 19 loose. This is what locks the inner tie rod end to the outer tie rod end. Break that loose, back the nut off of here, and we can make our adjustment right here. And it's easy, as Mike taught us in another video, to count the flats when you turn it. So this would be one flat. So when I turn it, that right there is one flat. And then I can lock it down, because that brings me into my spec right there. So I'll go ahead, lock it back down, and call it a day. All right, so John just went ahead and made some adjustments. We're pretty close, and uh, we're, we're good with that. So that's where we're going to be, and uh, we're going to test drive it, see how it feels, see, put it in some turns, and then, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. All right, guys, you guys see the alignment from John and Miguel. They did a pretty good job getting the car down, down to zero. Uh, on the next video, we'll be uh, redoing the side skirt. So we had a little bit of fitment issues when we had these side skirts. They were, they are originals, but you know they weren't brand new. As most things with the car, it takes a little persuasion to get them to fit right. And Brian's going to show you how we conquered this problem too in our next video.
you like our videos, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.